Hi, it's Tanya. Welcome back to Gray and Gorgeous. We are in my car right now because I am here at the grocery store. <laughs> and um, I was thinking about getting my hair cut, actually, um, real quick. And um, I know my sister. Hi, sissy. Uh, she's got uh, quite a few clients today and stuff so um, I may just go ahead and cut it um, with a gal that uh, is right here next to uh, the grocery store so we'll see um, if I decide to do that but I don't know it kind of spurred me on to do a quick video um, so let's talk about uh, gray hair and hair for a minute and let me also update you on the swab sleek shampoo and conditioner um, that I did a video on not too long ago um, so if you're new to my uh, channel welcome um, stick around and we'll talk hair so here we go so I bought the um, sleek um, suave sleek shampoo and conditioner and the reason I got that is because I did a video where I showed you how to do beachy waves and I used, I'm going to take off my glasses because they're really reflective. Um, and I used the, um, suave sleek serum, um, that you can put in damp hair or you can put it on dry hair and it, it kind of makes your hair really silky feeling and it kind of sets curls and stuff like that and, um, gives you that really super nice beachy wave. So I really like that and I did, um, so um, I read on the back and it said that if you wanted ultra sleek hair, you could get the shampoo and conditioner. So I promptly went out and got that, not promptly, but after like a couple weeks and I got that and then I, um, it was like $2 for the shampoo and $2 for the conditioner somewhere around there. And so it's very um, frugal and cost effective. <laughs> And I tried it. I used the shampoo and conditioner together and it made my hair so soft. And I think I put this down in the comment section and one of my viewers, thank you so much, had mentioned possibly that I should um, just use one or the other and see how that goes. Because what happened was my hair was so sleek and smooth that this little claw clips and my combs that I was using and these little mini claw clips that I were using were falling out of my hair. That's how silky my hair was after using both the shampoo and conditioner in tandem. My hair was so soft and silky, which is great because that's what we want, right? Ladies, we want soft and silky, um, especially if you have gray hair because um, it can be kind of coarse and thick and uh, not so thick. You can have thin gray hair, but it can be coarse. And so um, it was my hopes to be able to solve uh, that problem for my gals out there who are, have thicker hair, meaning the hair shaft itself is thicker in dimension and it could be more springy or wiry and so that the smooth and sleek um, would would smooth it out but I have finer hair and um, so for me I don't want to put too much weight in it with products that are silicone based or in this case um, the 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 sleek has dimethicone in it which will coat your hair shaft it does a great job but you do want to use a, condi a clarifying conditioner now and again to get rid of that um, deposited dimethicone because if you don't it will build up on the hair shaft and then you'll have mineral deposit depending on where you live what kind of water you have it could start yellowing your gray hair um, so thanks to my viewer thank you so much for mentioning possibly using one or the other 
instead of them together if it gives you too much sleekness. And I know that sounds silly because you go, well, you bought it because you wanted to be sleek. So you want to be, now you don't want to be, you don't want to have your hair so slippery that you can't put combs in it or you can't put a scrunchie in it or you can't put a rubber band in it because it, even then it starts to loosen and come out. And I wear my hair up most of the time so that it's out of my way when I'm working. So I have to do this and I have to clip my hair up in one of these and do something to get keep it out of the way. So I generally wear my hair up five days a week, but on the weekends, right, we love to put our hair down, you know, we like to put our hair down and wear it maybe wavy or curly or beachy waves or some other kind of style. So I like to wear it down. And so this past weekend, I know I did that video where I showed you where I trimmed, where I put layers in my hair. Um, and then about, mm, I don't know, some weeks after I did that, I decided to go a little further back and put a few more layers because I like the layers because layers help you hold curl and this weekend um, I used the clarifying shampoo and then I used the sleek conditioner just the conditioner by itself and I've been doing that for a while because it gives me a little bit more of sleekness but not too much so that it you know it stays put but it was still even then it was too too sleek too smooth too shiny no and <laughs> It's funny because that's what you want, but you think you want that. But if you have too much of it, it becomes hard for your hair to hold the style. So what I had done on the weekends was I curled my hair. Take it out here because you, you can see the layers that I put in it in that one video. I cut them in front of you. You can see what I did. And I kind of went at an angle here so that my hair is rounded versus cut straight across. And I put those layers in and I love them. So when I curl them, um, my hair goes back nicely. And so what I did on the weekends is I curled here and here and here. And I had this beautiful like ringlets going all the way back. But then um, we left the house and, and there wasn't windy that day or anything. But by the time noon rolled around, my hair looked like this. It was stick straight again. The curls had all come out because it was way too smooth because the dimethicone smoothed my hair shaft so much that it was so silky and smooth that it wouldn't hold the curl all day. So even though I sprayed it with hairspray and did all my normal application methods, it came right out. So I thought, you know, maybe I should go get some layers put in and this time have a professional do it and just go layers all the way down and around back here so that I have a little bit more body. I have um, a bit more versatility. So, um, so let's talk about layers for a minute. Okay, so to layer or to not layer, that's the question. Okay, so if you have thin hair like me, I'm just going to give you my opinion, and this is just my opinion. Definitely, you know, talk to your hairdresser, see what would work best for you. Okay, so my hair is not incredibly thick, okay? I have, um, I have more hair follicles per square inch but yet the hair itself is pretty fine, okay? And um, so I, do, I like the weight. I, I want the weight. I don't want to go in with a razor, you know, because they could razor it, you know, and take out the weight, but you don't, you don't necessarily want that. But you want layers. So you can ask for no razor, um, and you can ask for blunt layers. Those are a little bit heavier. They're done with scissors and they're, you know, they're straight across so that the layer is more blunt and a little bit heavier. If you get razoring, just get razored long layers, which means they'll take it here and they'll rip, 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 and they won't go into the body of the hair, right? So you're going to get a more of a, um, a long layered effect um, and you can have layers start okay so my hair is about to wait 
Well, you can see it. It's actually down to my shoulders back here. It goes all the way, it rests, and it actually goes past my shoulders in the far back, but this front part is a bit shorter. So here's my chin here. So it's about that much down from my chin. So I'm going to say about two inches down from my chin. Okay. And so what you could do is you could um, get layers that start at the chin, which is where mine are right now. You could get layers that start at your cheekbone, or you could get layers that start at your eye, at your eye, um, so that they start here and here, you know, want those layers to start. And I think the best place to start them is at the feature area that you would like to call attention to. Um, if you don't want to call attention to anything on your face, then you can wear your hair long um, and depending on your face shape, which I think I did a video on face shape, I will link that down in the description box below, um, you can decide um, what is best for your shape, face shape and just go with that and just don't even like consider like, well, what's my best feature? You know what I mean? If that's something that you don't want to consider, but you want to go more with the overall look of how it's going to look. So anyway, I hope that helps. And I hope the information on the update on the sleek and smooth suave shampoo helps you because it's a very frugal purchase and it works well. It does work. I'm telling you, it totally works. So um, if you just want a semi sleek look, go with the shampoo or the conditioner. I would go with the conditioner and just use a regular clarifying shampoo. That's what I'm doing now. And the suave clarifying with that one. Um, if you want super duper sleek, go with the shampoo and the conditioner. Um, if you just want a little bit of sleekness and you want to add it at your whimsy, then don't go with shampoo and conditioner and go with the suave sleek and serum because then you can add it as you need it and um and it washes out the next day and then the next day you don't have a smooth style so then you don't use it and you have a little bit more control over it so thank you so so much for watching as always and if i decide to get my hair cut i will show you how it turns out so thank you so much and we'll catch you next time bye